got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Ah. To no surprise of mine, you're more competent than Balin. Go on then. Hand it over. Worth more than its weight in gold to folk back in Baldur's Gate. There ain't much I can't cure. Loads. But I haven't got anything to offer for it. And I'm counting on the shroom for that. Give it or don't. Thanking you. <laughs> I'll be on my way then. Look, I do thank you. Come visit me in Baldur's Gate if you find yourself that way. We, I, run a shop called Bone Cloaks. Balin nearly sunk the shop to pay for a drink. When he was of his own mind. This might allow me to hang on a little longer. You take care out here. My friend, Biberbag. Curious, beautiful, but dangerous. Next time, more careful next time, for certain. Thank you for your help. Hey, oh, you may be right. And worse, yes. Worse by the day. Should have waited for dinner. Anyway, what were you saying? The shop. The shop needs all we find. Bone cloaks. Baldur's Gate. Anything from... Anything sourced here. Very high rate of profit. Mushroom. Powerful. Dirith wants it for a brew. She's very good, my Dirith. Very good at a brew. Did you take that? Dirith wants it very badly. Very, very badly indeed. Oh, very glad. She'll be very glad. Don't be too careful in these parts. Pima bangs the least of it. My, um, my words get away from me. You'll have to ask Derith. She knows the ins and outs. Help me. My, yes, my mind isn't what it used to be. I could run the shop again. That is, help Dereth. I don't... God! I can finally think! Look at... What have you done? It's a better woman. I got my brain back. Smile.
Well? Balin, it's been a good few years. Um, I need a chance to think. Never made a habit of that before. Don't see why you'd start now. Do you remember these last years? Since you've been sick. Remember how you used me? Like a mule? I learned that from the best. Well, the best is back. You'll learn your place again. Even if you forgot till now. Come on. Get to packing. We're going home. I... I can't. My memories are being withheld for a reason. Lady Shah will return them to me when the time is right, no sooner. Besides, mushrooms aren't my favorite. I think it's because of the gills. Give it here. I remember something. Not everything. It's new and not new at the same time. All jumbled up. I was younger. Much younger. An initiate at the cloister. I was upset about something. The others were teasing me, mocking my name, like I wasn't worthy of it. There was another, a tiefling boy with short horns and purple hair. I think he was my friend. He tried to make me feel better. Renald. That's the last part of it I remember. That must be his name. Perhaps he's still there in Baldur's Gate. As you choke down the acrid mushroom, the memory embraces your unlovable carcass. You see a grand collection. Shelves of jarred, floating, pickled organs neatly labelled. Taxidermied beasts and men, elegantly displayed from your killings. A study, no doubt, arranged neatly by your gentleman's gentle goblin. As you and your butler perform a vivisection, Scalaritas's claw slips, calipers cutting the aorta of the living, screaming victim. This is not your first time unravelling a long intestine left-handed, but each time you swear up a storm, hoping it will be your last. As the memory begins to clear away, one thing is certain. The butler lies not about his past service. <laughs> 